After lockdown, I was faced with literally being a one-man band. I had to work out a way of capturing audio, commonly scripted dialogue, in an efficient way that also allowed me to concentrate on the cinematography and the performance. This is what I discovered. The Rode Wireless Go. For a completely wireless setup, I invested in two Rode Wireless Goes from Amazon. For recording, I already owned a Zoom H1, so today I repurposed it to be my external recorder. Small Rig makes a handy Wireless Go accessory, which connects the two Wireless Goes and splits the signal into a left and right stereo output. This goes into the Zoom H1. From there, the actor on the left of frame gets the left balanced mic, and the actor on the right gets the right one. One really useful accessory is the magnetic clip, which I use to help hide it under the actor's wardrobe. With this setup, I can shoot take after take and always know the actor is perfectly mic'd. The only issue I've encountered is line of sight. If the receivers are not in direct line of sight with the transmitters, the audio cuts out. That's why, when rigging the receivers to my camera, I attach it to the top handle and think of it more like an antenna. That setup works perfectly for two-handers, i.e. dialogue scenes featuring just two actors. But what about capturing Foley or more complicated setups? I'll give you a clue what I use. The next piece of equipment I invested in was the Rode NTG video mic. I rig this to the top of a boom pole, plug in my wireless Go transmitter and send the signal back to camera or into my Zoom H1. Rode designed the NTG with this setup in mind, which is why it has a slip on the bottom so you can tuck the transmitter neatly underneath. The NTG has a built-in preamp, which is the main dial I use to control the gain. As a rule of thumb, set the NTG to 10 first. This is generally the most reliable setting. In terms of audio quality, this in my opinion generally provides the most cinematic sound quality. However, it does require you to operate the camera in one hand and the boom in another, which I have found myself doing. The lack of cables and lightweight nature of the equipment is perfect for solo shooting and not too taxing on your core strength. Quick tip, if you want to take things a step further, with the wireless goes you can daisy chain your headphone output into your spare wireless go, so you are even less encumbered by cables. The last thing you want is to forget you are attached to the camera. My setups and workflows are constantly changing according to the demands and the latest technology available, so please be sure to subscribe to my channel to follow updates on what I am using at the moment. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.